Okay, welcome back to the Maker Show. My name is Jeff Kreppi, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going over a program called PCB123. Now, it's a free package online. Basically, uh, what they do is they offer you a free design uh, program to design circuit boards. Uh, develop your uh, bill of materials, your bomb, uh, get it, uh, and their real push is to sell you the board. Uh, as many as you can buy, and they have a really good turnaround service. They're like five days, um, so they're really a good. And I believe that their boards are made in the United States. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll check on that for you guys, but. Um, they're uh, they're one of the best uh, board services I've found, and with the the use of the free program. Now I've tried the auto routing program, uh, and we are going to experiment with that. Obviously, when we get into designing this, uh, we're going to do a 3D printer. We're basically going to combine an Arduino Mega and a uh, rip wrap uh, shield along with. Uh, uh, headers for uh, the uh, display screen. The uh, that's called the, uh, the full graphics uh, uh, smart uh, controller. So basically, um, we'll just provide a header for that. We're not going to like mount that on the board because uh, that's pretty. Uh, the uh, SD card reader those are really hard to put on. Uh, the only um, only chip I want to uh, do that's uh, surface mount that's an IC is the microprocessor or the microcontroller and the uh, probably the USB controller you probably can't find those in anything but surface mount packages and obviously it uses much surface mount um, transistors to discrete components on the board so to reduce size I'm going to try to do as much as I can on a single side. Uh, most likely this will be a double sided board. Um, just because it's uh, of its complexity. Um, we'll, uh, we'll try to do vias uh, via um, putting a small piece of wire inside you know, on both sides. That's a really tedious process, but uh, without plating your holes through, that's pretty much what you have to go through. So um, once you get done with this uh, design, we're going to make a circuit board. And then what they want you to do is they want you to order the circuit board from them. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, print out that artwork on uh, newspaper print, like uh, literally cut up a newspaper or uh, a uh, magazine and get that gloss paper, use uh, uh, a laser printer to uh, print that circuit onto the, uh, the magazine paper as densely as possible. And then I have a, uh, a laminator. This is the laminator I picked up on Amazon. You know, oh, sorry, it's gonna focus. And uh, I think it was like 18 bucks. So we got. I have the PC boards now, the the laminator, um, the laser printer to print out the uh, design. Um, so all we have to do is design this circuit, and then we're gonna go ahead and print out the artwork, and then we're gonna. Print it onto the uh, print it onto the uh, magazine paper, and then we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a circuit board and see if this works. See if we can get it going. Uh, that would be a really good test. So I hope you stay with me. I don't know if this is going to be the intro, and I'll do more videos. Uh, let's go ahead and see how long this gets. So this is the program we're going to be using. This is PCB one two three. Uh, when it initially starts, uh, this will come up, and this is going to be 3D printer board. And the net file, if um, we were doing this and we were trying to uh, 
uh, hook two different files together like um, um, data line here, data line there and uh, just down the list um, so uh, that's something we're not going to have so I'm going to leave it there and go next the board size I'm going to make this uh, just make it uh, 10 by 10 and we're not going to use a board template they have a bunch of different board templates including uh, uh, Arduino scaffold this is a pinout of a Uno I believe um, doesn't have the mega so uh, PC enhanced uh, this would be really good if you're doing a project that you wanted to put a PC card in and uh, make that work for you. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and select none. We're going to select the blank. And we're going to go next. And then we're going to go ahead and select two layers. Uh, that's all as a hobbyist you can get away with. Uh, I've never seen any hobbyist. Uh, do uh, more than a two layer board it's just uh, you might as well send out for it they can they can do it they can turn it around and you know three four day five days if you're doing that something that complex uh, then there's no reason not to get it done professionally um, we're going to do a two layer board since that's all that we can do we're going to go next um, now you want to most likely have a solder mask on there because we're going to have surface mount components. Uh, we won't be able to do the solder mask on our um, homemade boards, uh, but if we had them uh, had the same boards made at the board factory, we'd want to select that solder mask. The silk screen is basically uh, the name of the component uh, printed on in, uh, white ink or something like that. Uh, and, and it shows you where to place the component uh, and that's uh, very helpful and you definitely want it if you're going to uh, uh, have the boards made obviously we'll have to use a piece of paper with the picture on it and figure it out so it's a little more difficult a little more time consuming but it's a hobby project so so we're uh, good now the weight of copper if you wanted if you're doing a really big power board or a power supply you might want to go to the higher uh, weight copper or um, something that was um, like really hot and you wanted uh, more copper to uh, dissipate heat that'd be another reason to go with a thicker copper but we're just going to go ahead and go with the default we're going to go ahead and go finish Okay, so this is what you'll be brought up with um, when you go to, uh, this is your actual uh, printer board. Um, this will be your main schematic. Uh, this will be your bill of materials. This is uh, what you, uh, so you like already now it's given us 25 of them and they toss $67 a piece. Um, they're just basing that on a uh, two layer board basically what we have uh, so you can pretty much be guaranteed that board's going to cost that much money if you had it made uh, I think they do uh, quantities down to like two uh, let's try to change that quantity to two Yeah, I don't know if that works. Um, but we know there's 67 piece. So that's the bill of materials that'll become, uh, this is like the 3D view of the board. This is what it'll look like in 3D. Uh, basically there's nothing on it. It's just a solder mask. Um, and then the layout. This is where we're actually gonna place uh, what we put in the schematic on the board and then it will produce a rat's nest is what they call it where it, it shows the connection between individual components uh, but it's not actually connected 
So uh, when you route it, finally do the routing, uh, those uh, those rats' nests show where it goes. So we'll uh, when we do placement, we'll go ahead and talk about where to place different chips in order to minimize the rat nest. Basically, you have a lot of connections crossing over so them. Uh, themselves it, it can it can get into a, what it says a rat nest so uh, that's where it's got its name um, well maybe I'm not sure about that but what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna start at the main schematic here so first we're gonna go ahead and uh, insert a select a part and I'm gonna do a mega And then I'm not going to be too concerned about which part I, I select here. I can uh, change this. I'm pretty sure this is the correct chip. I've looked at this before. Uh, you can make custom chips, obviously, in this package. Uh, for the expedience of the video, I didn't want to uh, have to. Uh... So thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'll have more videos on uh, expanding that schematic out and adding some more components, and then we'll uh, explore some route auto routing and some routing of the chips. Uh, I want to get some more done off uh, off camera, so I'm not boring you guys placing components and finding them and stuff. Uh, so until next time, please rate, comment, subscribe, and this has been the Maker Show with Jeffrey Krepke. Thank you.